Hello, Aquarius. So I have to apologize in advance. This is going to be quick because my battery is dying on my phone, but I didn't want to leave you guys out. So <clears throat> bear with me on this. So we have Aquarius, we have Taurus, we have Cancer, we have um, possibly a mother and a father. If not, this could be a boss, a public figure, a CEO, or an Aries. Um a Libra and or a Taurus, you again, Sagittarius and Cancer. Now, there's something here about a reunion. You took a leap of faith and you made a commitment. This could have something to do with legal law, um, higher education, belief systems, or commitments. So I'm using commitment loosely, okay? But you reunited and took a leap of faith regarding a commitment. Because of your intuition, you're trying to control and be creative about an ending. You're disappointed and defensive and emotional about a bribed victory, meaning an illegal victory. So... I'm just going to say for a lot of you, that is the case. For others, you're emotional about being bribed to move. Some of you are emotional because you're being bribed, but you're feeling conflicted. Or it could be one, two, or all three of these reasons. So that's why you're being creative about this ending and potentially not honest. Because it may involve a mother and a father and belief systems. Okay? So, there could be a Libra, a Taurus, a mother, the other woman who ended a cycle and they're disappointed and defensive and emotional. Because a Sagittarius paid for a victory. Or was bribed. Or a victory. Again, this victory card can also be a move or is conflicted. I'm just putting these things out there for you guys just so you know. But there's something here. You reunited because you were intuitive and defensive about a victory, a move, or because you were conflicted. This is very interesting. So we have communication issues, um, starting at ground zero type of energy. I'm trying to see what else I can't see very good. I need my glasses. <laughs> okay, so there's a communication issue. You're at ground zero regarding a change that needs to be made or was made that you're intuitive about it affects your stability your home your family something like that and because of this communication um it could affect your finances yeah there's some sort of financial change here and because of a belief system here there's an issue. With this change. It may have something to do also with um, daily duties, daily habits. It may have something to do with health even. Hmm. What else do we have? I think that's it. But this is definitely communication related. Um, it could be communication about someone's um, let me look at this. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not really sure, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, there's something about being bribed to end a victory because of a belief system, whatever that is. You may have had conflict within yourself regarding this offer. Um, sorry, I keep pulling the cord. Either it had something to do with greed or you holding on too tightly. Because you got wish fulfillment by taking swift action. but you were deceived. This, You feel heavily bound to this situation, but I'm going to say for some of you, you could have been deceived about addictions, codependencies, or toxic behaviors. That could be part of the issue. Or you were deceitful that you had these types of issues. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. Um, just a reminder, please do not skip over the ads if you can. Just if you don't want to listen to them, mute them and let them roll because the ad revenue is what helps us to be able to buy the equipment that it takes, the software and the nice setup for these readings. So... Just keep that in mind. So again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.